Hello. So we are the facilitators for the Lakeman group. Uh, and we've really enjoyed so much being facilitators. So I think we're all just gonna go around and introduce ourselves and say what the workshop has meant to us. Uh, so my name is Grace, I'm a senior, I'm studying political science, uh, and I have loved facilitating this workshop so much. Um, it's been so great to get these responses in. It's been a real highlight for my semester. Um, and just seeing the, the ways that these men have responded so creatively in ways that like sometimes we just we didn't expect and just and just all, all the different ways people are interpreting these prompts we made that we were so inspired by that really helped us form packets in the future so it was really just a wonderful exchange and kind of back and forth and really like we're getting to know people's artistic styles through these packets hi i'm suella i'm a junior studying uh international studies and crime and justice in lsa um, and I have really enjoyed this semester working with PCAP. I think it has been such a meaningful experience for me. And I've found myself looking forward to all of the responses that we got from our participants and shocked every single time at how amazing they were and by their work. Hi, I'm Rochelle. I'm a senior studying art history and museum studies, and I have been wanting to join PCAP since freshman year. So I'm so happy that it worked out this year. I've really learned so much more about what art means and the power of art what it means to create art and it's just been an incredible experience to learn from these artists. Hi, I'm I'm Jessica. I'm a senior studying art and and design. Um, as an artist, I feel like I I've just been so inspired and have learned so much from these artists this 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 past semester. I feel like it's really changed my own personal creative practice um, and it's just been so great to like learn and grow with these artists along the way. Hi, uh, my name is Annalise. I'm a senior studying history, art history, and museum studies. This workshop has been a truly amazing experience for me, and I feel like I've learned so much on every single packet that I've made and also in every uh, every single workshop responses that we have gotten. It's been truly amazing to see. Hi, my name is Anissa. This was one of my first experiences with PCAF um, and also one of my first formal experiences as an artist. And so it was really great week after week to kind of be a part of putting these packets together and also feeling my own creativity be inspired by the responses we got from participants. So uh, throughout this workshop, we made a total of 13 packets for the participants to respond to and create their art um, in response to different questions. And as we started to make each packet, um, our goal was to try and introduce our participants to something new. Um, they had expressed at the very beginning of the workshop that they all had a desire to learn about new art styles or new ways to make art. Uh, so some of the themes that we uh, tried to introduce to them were abstract art or portraiture. We did a packet on origami um, and we also did packets on comic books or landscape paintings. Um, and we got great responses uh, to all of them. So we compiled uh, some of the responses that we got and our the most popular theme that seemed to carry through is that our participants really enjoyed doing portraiture and they also really enjoyed um, mythical creatures as well as some of the comic characters that they created. So we're gonna share some of those with you. So for this next section, we are going to be going over the individual responses that we got from some of our participants. We really thoroughly enjoyed all of them, and we are so grateful for all the responses that we got. We got a great selection, and so we are really excited to share them with you all. These are some of our favorite works by Kevin. Kevin expressed in his first packet that he really wanted to explore um, how to express his emotion through his art in this workshop. And I think he did a really fabulous job. He sent us a few poems that were really thought provoking and beautiful to read. And I found myself going back to them. Um, this in the middle top is a self portrait that he sent us. And it's so nice to connect the personality with a face. Um, and I really loved this sketch. 
And then something that Kevin sent us a couple times were drawings of these little bears and we are obsessed with them. They are so cute. <laughs> Two of them are on a slide in the previous in the video, um, but this was such a cute one of the bear waving to us and we loved opening this so much. So thank you so much, Kevin, for your participation. Um, genuinely, your bears brought us so much joy. And then Randall was another one of our participants and he is a tattoo artist. This is a screenshot of his Instagram. And we were so lucky that he shared this with us because as you can see, he's such a talented tattoo artist. Um, it was really cool to see him thrive in an area of art that we didn't really talk about um, and to learn from him about what it means to be a tattoo artist because I have no knowledge about tattoos. So I really did learn from him and I was able to see his skill and it was really amazing that he shared this with us. So thank you, Randall. Yeah, for Maurice, it was really cool kind of see, getting to see what his style was over time. I think he had this really distinct sort of sketch style that had this like really sort of clever detailing to it. And this is a really great example of um, it's, it's this wonderful poem here, which really plays with juxtaposing themes of, of light and dark really well. Um, and if you can see between between the bars here, he actually drew the moon. Um, it was sort of a, those little pockmark circles. So I think that was, it was really cool to just see, see those little details and see him playing with these really complex themes. Um, in these really cool ways that really, I think this is one of um, the works that like you see, you're like, well, I was definitely Maurice. Yeah, we all really loved getting to see Lamont's responses week after week. He was one of our most um, consistent participants. And I personally always really looked forward to opening up our Google Drive full of responses and seeing what he'd come up with in response to our packets. Um, he primarily wrote us these really amazing poems. The two pictured were some of our favorites. Um, he really just has such a way with words and this way of creating pieces of poetry that are just so beautiful and heartbreaking at the same time. Um, and he was just always a really open and willing participant. And we all hope that he loved making these packets as much as we um, loved creating them. So yeah, Georges was um, our participant. I feel like was so flexible, was so was so eager to learn about different styles and try out different things. Um, this image on the left here was actually in response to our, our surrealism packet. We were asking them to sort of abstract an image as it went, um, which was really cool. Um, and then to the right is, is his self portrait there. So it was just, it, it was really cool to see him try so many different things um, and be such a, such a willing participant. I think it really it really added a lot to the workshop. Yeah, Eric was an incredible participant in our workshop. Um, he never failed to amaze us with his pieces and it was so clear from reading his responses and seeing his art that he has a true talent and passion. Um, so these three pieces that are on here were his hometown on the left, um, a seascape is what he called the one on the top. And then the bottom right was a lighthouse that he created in our architecture prompt. And he also created one of the first portraits that we showed and um, the squirrel abstraction. So he is just so talented and he never failed to create such amazing art. And not only did he create art, he also sent us some poems. Um, he sent us two haikus, uh, the politician and the quilt, which were also incredible to read. Um, and he just added such personal elements to the packets that he responded to. And we were really grateful for all the, all the amazing responses that he sent us. So Anthony's work was also um, amazing, as you can probably tell, every one of our participants has been amazing thus far. Um, and he kind of sent us these combinations of really beautiful written work that he would type up and then also these really cool sketch style pieces of art. Um, so it was just great to kind of scroll through his packets and read through these really amazing stories that he would tell um, and then also see what he'd created in response to some of our prompts. And it was really great to see kind of the progression of his work, um, which is just has such a fun style and is really fun to look at. Yeah, so Carly was just such a versatile artist um, throughout the entire workshop, from his use of color to his willingness to uh, explore different styles and draw different types of subjects. So he did portraits and anime characters animals and myth mythical creatures that we included earlier in the slideshow. And it really just brought such a smile to all of our faces whenever he 
sent us responses, for example, like the Goku um, in the anime prompt and the cartoon prompts. And so we wanted to thank him for dedicating so much time and putting so much effort into all the photos that he created. Yeah, Alfred's responses were always so wonderful, so imaginative. I feel like he, he took so many of our prompts and kind of and did something with them that was so creative that we hadn't imagined that was so cool. Um, I think a lot of times we were inspired by the way he'd responded to packets for future packets. Um, and yeah, he had some really cool kind of comic style. Some of these, the, the cats, and I think the sharks were part, were part of our quilt packet. So he was kind of imagining this as, as a pattern. Um, he, had, he had these really good comments, comments that we showed earlier that he called alternative logic ones, which were it, it, it is, it is this dialogue between these clever fish. Um, that th those were those were phenomenal. We all really enjoyed those a lot. Um, and so I think there was just this this really special sort of wit and, and, and creativity that Alfred brought with every single packet. That was really that was really phenomenal to see. We, we appreciate it so much. So uh, at the start of this workshop, Tim expressed the desire to get away from relying on other artists and their styles when he's creating art. And looking at these two portraits that he sent us, um, we could all really see like his talent as an artist and his potential. Um, and we could also see looking at them that he was trying to figure out his own style, which is really amazing. And looking at these two, the level of detail and the quality of the line work in each of them really brought the pieces to life. Um, and we're just really grateful that we were able to be a part of his journey as an artist. Yeah, so Cavachea shared one of his great writing pieces with us at the beginning of our journey together, and it was just super great to read through. We were all super excited for more. Um, it was incredibly impactful, super powerful, very rich in content, um, and it it was just a great start to our experience um, with, with these packets. Um, Kyle, I we were all just like super excited and grateful for kind of the different styles that he shared with us. Um, you were never sure what he was going to send along to us and all of it was so unique and um, diverse in kind of the way that he approached the different prompts that we gave. Um, and the way that he addressed it. He did a lot of writing. Um, my personal favorites were when he incorporated writing with the drawings. Um, and he recently shared with us too that he's creating his own comic book, which I think we can all agree just makes so much sense based off of where his strengths lie um, when creating as an artist. So we're all really looking forward to hopefully getting to see that in the future. We just want to extend one big final thank you to everyone involved in these packets. Of course, to PCAP for putting everything together, um, but biggest thank you goes out to all of our participants. We definitely, none of this could have been possible without their amazing participation and the incredible art that they continued to send us week after week, um, which really made this semester an amazing experience. So thank you to everyone.